and then I'll uh, walk around and answer it. All right. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have 3x minus 6 plus 3 is less than 15. So in this case, again, what we need to do is main important thing is isolate the variable, right? Isolate, I'm sorry, the absolute value. You guys can see absolute value is being added by 3. So we subtract 3. So I have absolute value of 3x minus 6 is less than 12. We good? We good with the first step? Isolate the absolute value. You cannot create two cases unless you have an absolute value is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to a value. Just like equations, you cannot create the two cases until you have that. So now we create our two cases. Again, just like the last problem, you're going to create the case 3x minus 6 is less than 12. And then, since we're going to negate the other side, it has to, we have to um, flip the sign. 3x minus 6 is greater than a negative 12. Everybody follow. Yes, everybody follows. Good. So now, but what is the conjunction? Please remember, guys, when it was greater than or equal to, it was or. When it's less than or equal to, it's and. And this is really all you guys need to know is how to graph the and. So that compound inequality when they were together, you don't really need to be worried about that, but I, I thought I would remind you guys of that. So let's go ahead and solve. So I add 6, add 6. 3x is less than 18. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x is less than 6. And add 6, add 6. 3x is greater than negative 6. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x is greater than negative 2. Okay. So another way to do it, which is, I think, much faster than the way I previously showed you, another way to do this is to simply like put the graphs above it so it's actually not on the solution, but so you know where it's at. So x is less than 6. I'm going to put a nice open point at 6. Now, the values that are less than 6 are going to be going to the left, right? Well, before I go through and determine the points, I can just kind of do a graph going like that off the graph. Then I have x is greater than negative 2, so I go to negative 2. Again, since it's greater than, that's an open circle. And then I'll do values going there. So now, using it this way, you guys can see where do they intersect. They intersect between all the values, right? So then you just shade in between. And that's it. All right, guys. Let